with market segmentation. In the last class we did, uh, we talked about demographic and geographic. For demographic, it's talking about different aspects of the population, where we can put the population based on ages, gender, religion, ethnicity, and the rest. That's about demographic. But today's focus is on psycho psychographic and behavioral. So we're talking about psychographic. It's simply talking about people's attitude, opinion about our product. So a business will be able to produce goods based on people's opinion or attitude. Let me read anyway. Psychographic segmentation. This is when customers are grouped according to attitudes, lifestyles, and opinions. This is may target customers in relation to fashion, politics. So these are people's opinions. These are pe what people really like to do, their way of life. So we can simply target them and produce a product that goes with them. So let me cite an example about politics here. For politics, businesses might produce magazines that review political situations. So they know people that are, you know, that are into politics, they would really want to read it. So that's the view. So they want to know more about politics, about sports. So when businesses target certain group of people based on what they like, based on their opinion, their attitude, interest. their interest, thank you, based on their interest, that's all called psychographic. Do we understand psychographic? Yeah. Are we sure of this? Yes. Yeah. So, then we have behavioral. When we talk about behavioral, we're talking about how customers relate with the product. So businesses, you know, through market research, they will be able to understand customers' relationship with their products. So when businesses target customers based on how they relate with their products, then that's behavioral. Example of behavioral is usage rates. How often do they buy the product? So based on how often they buy it. Oh, do they really buy our products? The quantity that customers do buy. Who are those customers that really buy highest quantity? So we're going to target them to produce, to continue to produce for them. That is behavioral. Do you get behavioral here? Yes. It's talking about the quantities bought by customers. Oh, specific group of customers, they buy more. You know, we already have a segment, right? So in this segment, please sit down properly. In this segment, this group of people buy more, so we have to produce more for this kind of people. That is about time, about usage. Then we have the loyalty. How emotionally attached are customers to our product? So who are those customers that are really, you know, emotionally attached to our product? They will continue to target them and produce for them. That is another type of behavior. Do we get it? Do we get it, please? Yes. Loyalty is about how emotionally attached to a product. So who are those customers that are attached to our products that they would not leave our brand? No matter what happens, they always want to buy from us. So targeting them means you you've segmented the products based on their loyalty. Do we get loyalty, please? Yes. Are you here? Okay. The third one, time and date of consumption. Sometimes, you know, this is simply talking about what time people do buy the products. So you know, some, people, some customers, they buy products mostly at a specific time in the year, maybe during festival time, maybe Eid, maybe Christmas and the rest. So you might target them based on the, the time you know that consumers really want to buy. Do we get it or I explain again? I can explain it again. When we talk about time and date of consumption, it's simply talking about what the time or the, 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 the period that which customers really want to buy. So what periods do you really sell? This period, oh, between January to March, we used to sell more. So who are those customers that buy between January and March that are giving us more revenue? We might target them. So every January to March, we produce more because a specific group of, group of customers who want to buy at that specific period of time. Do we get it? It's still part of behavior. It's just about the time that they buy. They have a specific time to do buy. So at that time, you're targeting that time. So when you target that time, it's part of a market segmentation. So you know this group of people, they always buy more between these few months, between January to March. So you target them and make sure you produce at that point in time. That is market segmentation too. Do we get it please? So what are the benefits of businesses having a market segment? Number one, this is the segment the market will be able to increase revenue. How are you going to be able to increase the revenue? You'll be able to increase the revenue because you are producing different goods, different products for different group of customers. So if customer A is not buying this, it customer B might buy. So you have different good goods that customers might be willing to buy. So most of the customers are always with you. So that would increase your revenue. So because you have what they would want to buy. 
not that they have to leave your good, they have to leave your brand to buy from your competitors because everything they need you already is, out, is available. So the availability increases your revenue. But we get it. Being able to market, being able to segment your market allows you to have more customers wanting to buy from your brand. Like you have the syrup, you have the tablets, the pills, you can take them. So, oh, Parasamon has pills, it has syrup and the rest. So every Parasamon product is going to be available for every group of customers. So we don't need to check Panadol. We don't need to check any other brand. Because for Parasamon, we have everything we needed. So that means Parasamon will be able to increase its revenue. Do we get revenue increase here? Yeah? Yeah. So the first reason why a business would want to really increase, or would want to really market, segment its market is because it wants to increase revenue. Do we get it? Yeah. Are you guys with me? Yeah. Okay. The second one. This is our do market segmentation. We don't need to waste promotional resources. When we talk about promotional resources, we are simply talking about how we want to sell our products, how we are creating awareness about the product. So because you know your market segment, you know your targeted customers, so you wouldn't need to beat around the bush. You just go straight and target them and make whatever promotion you want you need to make to them. So the promotion will be targeted and focused on them. So you won't be wasting resources. Do you get it or not? You won't be wasting resources here, promotional resources, if you are able to target your customers. Because when you advertise for everybody, it's a waste of resources. Because the advert might not be successful. So if you really want a successful advertisement, it means you have to target a specific group of customers. So you know, okay, like, oh, we, need, we have a product that we're producing. We need middle-aged people. So middle-aged people, where are they? What platform can we use? Oh, it's middle-aged, okay. They might be in so they have social media, maybe the Facebook for the middle age and the adults. Facebook, oh, for the younger ones or the teenagers, we can use Instagram. So we know where to go to, where to focus our products, our advertisements to. Do we understand? Is it clear, please? Yes. And the third one, customers may be loyal to businesses that produce specifically to them, or for them, sorry. Are you guys here? Yes. Because we have segmented the market. So a group of customers would know that whatever they need to buy in terms of goods or in terms of service, they will always find it there. So they don't go any other places. There's always customer loyalty because we know that whatever we need or whatever I need, I will be able to get it from that business. So that brand will always provide me with whatever I need. So there's no point thinking about any other brand. So I become loyal. I will always return to that brand because that brand has provided to me whatever I need. Do we understand? So market segmentation also increases customer loyalty. Customers are loyal to you because you provide to them whatever they need. So what's the point going elsewhere? So the question is, what's the point? So in as much as there's no point going, then I'm attached to that product or to that brand. Do we understand? Do you understand this? Yes. And the last one, businesses may be able to market different ranges of products to different group of customers. Because you have different market segments, it means customers will have different choices to make from. So it means you can market different products at the same time to different group of customers. So when you have 10 customers with you, you have different product portfolio, you can always, mar you can always market all the products to them. They might buy two, they might buy three or four because you have all the products available. So the availability of the products will allow you to increase your revenue here. Do you get it? When you have to, if I have just this, if I have to market this, this is the only thing I have to market. But if I have different group of different ranges of products, if I have you with me when I'm marketing, I will market all the products to you. Do you get it? So it allows you to choose from different varieties. So this is market segment. Any question about market segment? So market segment is simply talking about splitting, dividing the market according to different characteristics of the population. We have uh, demographic, which is about different uh, different uh, stages, different ways in which the population is being divided. We have, um, we have psychographic now, which is about behavior, attitude, and opinion of customers. And we have, um, we have a behavioral, which talks about how we relate with our customers, how we relate with the products. And for the benefits, it increases your revenue, it increases or improves customer loyalty, it allows you to not waste your promotional resources. And at the, at the, last, the last one, it allows you to, to market different products to different group of customers. Is market segment clear? Thank you.